Hey everybody, Asa here with No Bones About Wrestling, and these are my picks for AEW Grand Slam. Uh, first up, we got Sting, the Icon, and Darby Allen, and they are taking on Christian Cage and TNT Champion Luchasaurus. Uh, these sides have been feuding for quite a while now. Um... I think they're going to decide to send the fans home. Well, not send them home quite yet, because I think this will be earlier on the card. But uh, I think they're going to decide to make the fans happy, put Sting and Darby Allen over. I think, you know, put the put the faces over, unless you don't have to. Or, I mean, put the faces over, unless you have to put the heels over, is what I was trying to say. So I think put Sting and Darby Allen over. Uh, because it's not for the belt yet. It's not like they're taking the TNT title away from from Luchasaurus and Christian, you know, whichever of them you, you think has it. So I say Sting and Darby win it. Uh, I'm sure Christian and Luchasaurus will be up to some some evil tricks. But I say let Sting and Darby have this one. Yeah. Up next, Chris Jericho versus Sammy Guevara. Les Sex Gods collide. Uh, one of the top tag teams right now in AEW, Les Sex Gods, are splitting for one night. Uh, Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara, as they say, they're going to have a fight. They're going to uh, shake hands and come back together and win the tag team titles. That's their plan. So hopefully they can stick to that plan and win the, win the tag team titles. Um, this should be a hard-hitting match. You know, Chris Jericho, he always delivers when he needs to. He's a pro. He's a seasoned pro. He's one of the best of all time. He didn't get that way for no reason. You know, we just had people complaining that, oh, Jericho versus Ospreay, it's going to be terrible at all in, and it, you know, was the match of the night for me. Uh, for a lot of people, it was the best match of the night. Uh, because Jericho, like I said, he delivers. He comes up big when he needs to. And this is a big match in Sammy Guevara's career. He's trying to get un out from under the shadow of Jericho. And it's a big shadow. He's been in the inner circle with Jericho. He's been in the Jericho Appreciation Society under Chris Jericho. So a win over Chris Jericho would be a big thing for Sammy Guevara. Is he getting it here? I don't think so. I think Jericho's taken some big losses lately. I don't think he can, he should take another one right now. I say put Chris Jericho over, and then he doesn't need to be mean to Sammy about it. I don't, I don't think he will be. You know, he's kind of, he's been a face lately. Chris Jericho has, and so is Sammy. I think you know he just needs to beat Sammy, give him a handshake like a man and just go on their way as a tag team and try to uh, until, you know, Sammy inevitably turns on him or whatever is going to happen here. Uh, but I think Chris Jericho goes over. I just, I got a gut feeling on that one. Up next, the AEW International title. John Moxley of the Blackpool Combat Club taking on Ray Phoenix accompanied by Penta El Zero Miedo and Alex Abrahantes. Uh, John Moxley and Phoenix, they just met a couple weeks ago, and they treated Ray Phoenix like a jobber. I mean, Moxley gave him very little offense, and Moxley just destroyed him. Uh, hopefully, they don't do the same thing. Hopefully, they give Ray Phoenix some offense. I really didn't like that, because Ray Phoenix arguably the best wrestler in the world. You, you can make a case for him as best wrestler in the world. I don't want to hear no. And he's he's in arguably the best tag team in the world, the Lucha Brothers. Uh, so he needs to be treated a little better. So this match should be closer to like 60-40 on the offense than 80-20, which is what their last match was, was like. Uh, I think Moxley will win and will retain the international title. I mean, he just won it. I, I think he's going to be a fighting champion, just as Orange Cassidy was. I think he's going to put in a lot of title defenses. I don't see him losing it here to Ray Phoenix. Uh, so I'm going to predict Moxley to win and retain the belt. Uh, 
next up, Ring of Honor title versus the New Japan Strong Openweight title. Uh, we have Ring of Honor champion Claudio Castagnoli of the Blackpool Combat Club taking on New Japan Strong Openweight champion Eddie Kingston. And these guys have been feuding for months. It was interrupted because Kingston ha had an injury, uh, but they've been feuding off and on for months. It, f it feels maybe longer than it has been, uh, but it needs to get settled. It's it's been a it's been a little too long for my taste. They need to move on to other opponents. Uh, not not that the matches haven't been good or won't be good because they. This match will be good, just they need to move on to other opponents, I feel. And this is another one, just my gut tells me, Eddie Kingston, I th they're going to give him a big win. Claudio has had the Ring of Honor title for, for a little bit now, and I don't see them having Eddie lose this New Japan belt uh, that he's won. I do see them making Eddie Kingston the next Ring of Honor world champion, and uh having both belts at once. This match is for both titles, as I mentioned. So I'm, I'm picking Eddie Kingston in this one over Claudio. Should be a good match. Uh, two matches left. One, the AEW Women's World title. We have the champion Soraya of the Outcasts defending against Tony Storm of the Outcasts. And a big question in this one is going to be whose side is Ruby Soho on, uh, the third member of the Outcasts? You know, who, with whom will she come out? Whose corner will she be in? Either will she even come out uh, and, and be near the ring for the match? We'll see. That's that's an important question, I feel like, because uh, the, the Outcasts, they do nothing if not interfere. They love interfering, and they do it usually all match long. So will Ruby Soho, will she stick with Soraya? They've kind of stuck together while Tony Storm has done her going crazy angle. Uh, will Ruby stick with Soraya against Tony? I'm not sure, but whatever happens, I'm predicting Tony Storm to win. I think they, they just gave Soraya the, the title because they were in London uh, at All In. They wanted to give the hometown girl a big win, and they did, and it was a cool moment. But I think they're going to give it back to Tony Storm, make her a three-time AEW Women's World Champion, and that would be awesome. And the main event at Grand Slam, AEW World Champion MJF, and one half of the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, he is taking on Ring of Honor World Television Champion Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe's belt is not on the line. This is only for the AEW World title. Uh, this has been built up well. Of course, we had from years back footage of MJF playing a bodyguard to uh, Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe kind of pushing him out of the way. Uh, and then we had what happened uh, several weeks ago where Samoa Joe was walking up while MJF was leaving uh, for a match and just pushing MJF out of the way and Samoa Joe calling him a little bitch. And uh, Samoa Joe now has told MJF, I'm going to take everything from you. And he started by choking out Adam Cole at the end of Dynamite this past Wednesday. Uh, so we'll see what they have in store on Collision. For us, what Samoa Joe is going to take from MJF on Collision. Uh, who the hell knows? Joe acts crazy. Joe was like a movie bad guy on Dynamite on Wednesday. Like a movie villain. Uh, he was scary. Uh, but who's going to win? Uh, I got to say MJF. And I think Adam Cole will be out there watching his back. Uh, and, uh, you know, just in case Joe tries something really uh, crooked, you know, with a with a steel chair or with a weapon of some sort, I think Adam Cole will be there to have MJF's back and prevent it, hopefully. Uh, 
But yeah, I predict MJF winning. I don't see Samoa Joe holding the AEW world title. I think there's a chance, but but a small chance, a very small chance. Uh, I see MJF holding on to the belt. And so, folks, those are your AEW Grand Slam predictions. Uh, sounds like a pretty good show to me. I definitely will be tuning in. Uh, we may do a, uh, a watch along. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see. But it all goes down on Wednesday from New York. Have a nice day. Catch us on the YouTubes. Subscribe. Bye.